Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked Up Pickin'. We are doing another Bulk.com palette of uninspected returns. We did really good on the last one that we filmed on, uh, that we showed you on Tuesday, so we're super excited about that. But now we have another one. What's gonna be in here? Who knows? Last time we found an entire computer. That'd be awesome if we found another one. Let's see what it is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just get this open here. Reminds me of the large candy pallets that we've gotten before. Yeah. Those are usually sealed pretty good. We haven't done one of those in a while. Yeah. It's hard to find those. Every time we do candy pallets, I, I gain about 20 pounds. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm just going to cut this whole flap off. So 600 bucks is what we paid for it. Uninspected returns, bulk.com. Everybody always wants to know the specs on that. That's $600, including shipping. And uh, I always try to buy them at least three pallets to get a little bit of a better deal on the All shipping. Right. I'm going to make myself a door on this side. Great. Without putting... We got some pillows. Pillows. And some larger pieces there. Try not to cut the, the boxes. Yeah. Inside. Especially if it's a pillow. That says Prime on it. Looks like it's from Amazon. Well, they reused the box. So uninspected returns could mean a host of different issues. Uninspected means that Bulk did not inspect it. I think that's within reason that they didn't inspect it. But so far, we've been doing pretty well with the stuff. This says, do not open with sharp instrument. Got to open it with your mind again. Didn't work. Didn't work? Gonna have to use oh. a sharp instrument. I liked your mind focus though. Yeah, was there was great? a beautiful focus of mind. Slightly held, tilted. Beautiful. That's about as much as I slow down. Really? Yep. That was it. That was it. That's we wonderful. It. Take a break. Huh. Ooh. Three of something. Whoa. What's okay, the note says, say? Hand painted canvas. It doesn't say anything about its condition. It's hand painted. We just found a Picasso. That's hand painted. Sparkles. Well, I could do that. <laughs> but I bet they all match. Yeah, they all kind of go. Okay, together. so maybe I couldn't do that, it's but like still. It's like a three-part collage piece. Okay. Hey, I can put them on my wall. Yeah. I made an art wall. She made an art store. wall. All right, so we've got three of those. It's very important to have. Yeah, we're going to, oh, hey, tell them about totaling at the end. Yes, like we're, we, uh, we've are we been trying to do that lately with these pallets to give you kind of a an idea of uh, how much money we make on this. And a lot of people ask us, can you make a living doing this and so forth and so on. So there are lots of factors that go into that. Do you have a following? Do you have a website? Uh, do people, do you have a retail store? You have to have the ability to sell the item. So we're gonna give you a total. We paid yep. about 600 bucks for this. Yep. Um, and then we're gonna give you a total of how much we think we can make at the end. We're pretty good. We're pretty good right on the numbers there. Yeah, we usually- Usually what it. Heather and I come up with is what we, what we make. And you might be going, hey, I could sell that for a lot more. Well, great. If you can, wonderful. Go for it. yeah. You know, we know our area and... We also don't like to keep a lot of items. We like to move them fast. True. And there's a lot of people that there's... Uh, what's the phrase? Um, fast nickel slow dime no. or something. I don't yeah, know. fast nickel slow dime. So, like, there's a lot of people that they like to hold on to the items, get more bang for their buck. So, they'll sell, they'll take this pillow and we'll sell it for, you know, a certain amount. And then, but the, the next person might sell it for $50 more. Yep, you know, yep. Just... And your area to... Yep. does make a big difference like if you're in oh, california or new york you'll be able to sell this stuff probably for more and then other people are like oh you're selling it way too high it's it's interesting we have the same comment we've had the comment too low too, too, high. too low and, and then the very next high. comment is you're too high you know it's it's interesting but, but we sell it nonetheless we do so so everyone is entitled to their opinion but we sell it nonetheless correct 
Okay, I feel like this is a metal sculpture of some sort. Is that a foot? It does look like a metal sculpture, though. What do we got there? These, I think, are the legs. That is massive legs. This is definitely going in the store. Bird. I got some bird legs. <laughs> you do have bird legs. <laughs> I just caught that. All right. Probably it's hard. a flamingo. Flamingo. Look at that guy. Everybody needs a giant flamingo. That is awesome, Heather. This is super awesome. Gigantic metal flamingo. <laughs> Careful. Is that all metal? Yeah. Yeah, don't don't be cutting yourself. So it'll just boom. My goodness, that's like a five foot flamingo in your yard. It is like a five foot. Because I'm five foot there. four and it's almost the same height as me. Yeah. This what, is awesome. I wonder if that guy... We had a guy come in the store that just says, Hey, do you guys have any flamingo stuff? Because my wife loves flamingos. Yeah. We're going to put this on Facebook. Yep. That guy will be up here in pooping his pants going, I need I need the five foot giant flamingo. Yes. For my wife or I'm not ever allowed to come home again. Yes. Something like that. All right. Good deal. Look at her. Just brute. Brute strength. Ripping it through. No problem. Aggressive nature. Good job, Heather. Good job. I'm pretty sure Heather is part Amazon strong woman something. <laughs> I never know. Were you a part of a government experiment? Yes. You were? Did they put vials in you that made you kind of like short. Captain America? Short. I wasn't going with short. It's going with strength. I never, just so you guys know, I have no idea. I don't rewatch the videos. So the random things he says when I'm way down there, I have no idea what he says. Occasionally, some of you are really nice and you give me a sneak peek into what he says. I don't say anything bad. At least I don't think I do. All right, this is like a semicircle mat. So it's got short berber, so it's made for a high traffic walkway. Usually we do like 30 bucks on a, yeah. on a carpet. We'll add mat. it up at the end. Yep. We'll let you know. That flamingo will be $1,000. $1,000. Because we know a guy that has to buy it or he can't go home. That's sir. If you want to make your wife happy, it's $1,000 for the flamingo. Right. As he weeps bitterly, giving us the money, putting the flamingo in his truck, he will arrive home. But he will be a happy man. Happy wife, happy hey, life. This picture, I think we have that, that lamp already. We do. But that'd be awesome if we would have two, because a lot of people like to buy a pair of lamps, especially floor lamps, one on either side of the couch, that kind of thing. So you want to take the them on a color. tour and show them built? Well, I want to see is, is it the same color. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. It just says item is not as described, which is a good actual thing. Oh, this one is brown. Oh, okay. So it'll be different than what we were in. So it's a wicker lamp, but it usually has a little bird. Yeah, the bird is on the little inside. Bird when they ship it, they put it on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But you flip it around. But we can show them the white one. Does it have the legs? Yes. They have brown legs, dark brown. We can show them the white one. Just I'll put together. I will go where you go. Okay. Let's show them the white one. The lights are all off, so just stay right here. I'll bring it in the light. Oh, okay. Come into the light, Heather. Here's the white one. Look at that. Simple base. Cool looking little stand Kind of looks like bamboo. And then we got a bird. A bird little Tweety bird. Yep. $1,000. $1,000. How much right. are we selling that thing for? Uh, we don't have a price check. Oh, yeah. Okay. But we'll tell you how much this one is at the end of the video. Wonderful. All right. Here we go. We're going to go backwards. All right. Well, that's cool. I was kind of hoping they match, but that's all right. We'll still sell it. It's a lizard or frog over there, everybody. Lizard or frog on the pillow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with frog. Could be lizard. Could be dinosaur. This frog. Hey, we got metal frogs. Everybody needs. Everybody needs a frog pillow. Every time you sing, everybody needs. I want to start singing water buffalo. Everybody needs a water buffalo. I think it's a Veggie Tales song. 
pretty sure. Anyway. That's awesome. So, sorry, that was my random thought process there. I love your random. Okay, this is a pillow, but it's got a leather cover. Leather cover. Which is cool. Leather or fabric. It looks like it's reversible. That, ooh, these are cool. Nice here pillows is there. The cover and then the insert. Nice. These are neat. Kind of metallic looking. Got a bunch of those. Right. You know, if those were like at a furniture store, they'd be like, that'd be $125 a pillow. When you lay your head on them, it massages your own head. It's wonderful. I need a pillow like that. You get smarter when you lay on these pillows. But we don't sell them for that price. So you won't get smarter? Is that what you're nope. saying? Nope. Nope. You'll be smarter when you buy them from us. Yes. So you won't be You'll wasting be your money. And wise. All right. Let's open this box. Fragile. Look, it's already got a cracked glass in it. That's... Terrifying. Ooh. Wind and weather. Wind Look, and weather. catalogs. We should just order from them. We should. We should become one of their reps. We'll sell all our stuff. What? It's a sunflower. With bumblebees. This guy's got a little springy. I'm assuming the rest of the sunflowers in here. Gotta be right. Yeah. There it is. Steak. Sort of. Steak and leaf. Steak and leaf. So, nice. Just a leaf. A couple of leaves. Nice leaves. Very green. Three of them. Not very tall, is it? Oh. Let's see. oh no, not very tall at all. Does that just go right on on there? There's got to be another pole. There's got to be another pole. Hold on. I'm missing it. Well, we know why this was returned. Huh. Okay. So that's probably a nothing burger. Oh, there it is. You found it. There it is, Heather. You found it. Well done. We'll fix that in editing. We'll fix that in editing. No. If anybody knows, we don't edit. There is no editing. So there's where the leaves go. Beautiful, Heather. Glad you found it. It goes like this. Well done. Boom. Boom. Cool beans. That can grow all winter. Yep. It will not die You can in the look frost. out your dining room window or your kitchen window and see a beautiful sunflower with bumblebees year round. You will instantly become more cheerful. And you'll be saving the Praising people. God for all the wonderful things that He has blessed you with. It'll be a time of worship. It'll be wonderful. Boom. That was amazing. For the low, low, low price of I don't know, we'll tell you. Nine ninety nine Dot nine nine. nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Act now, kids. Act, Act now. now. Huh. Canister of some sort. What do we got there? Huh? Wall sconce. Wall sconce. You gotta flip it around. Boom. Wall sconce. See. Candle goes on the top. Get I was it? thinking it was a weapon. <laughs> Good job, Heather. Well, you know, anything can become a weapon. True. Heather's a lethal trained fighting machine. Anything is a weapon in her hands. Yes. Even a wall sconce. Even a wall sconce. Look at that wall sconce. Beautiful. It is pretty. You know, with as well padded as this is, we might be able to sell it on the fire sale. I think we could. Coming soon to a fire sale near you. To a fire sale near, near you, absolutely. Oh, man. I'll have to figure out how to get that all back. Alrighty. 
Walt Scott's. Said that like parkour. Parkour. Walt Scott. <laughs> Very intense. All right, we have a bedding set. Beautiful. Green. We still like what a red one of these. Yeah, Juliet Tufted Chanel King bedspread. King. King. You too can be a king. The Royal King Green bedspread. bedspread. Another pillow. This is kind of neat the way they sent them with the inserts and the covers. Another little set. Mm-hmm. Here's another one of these um, one hundred and twenty dollars pillows. Beautiful. I wonder what those would be actually when we look them up. We'll it wouldn't. Them up. It would not shock me if they were like 120 a piece, though. We will not be selling them for that. No, we never do. But it's just, I'm just amazed what people get for a pillow. Birch branches. What it says. Birch. Birch. That's a cool word. We're easily amused here. Ooh, they are cool. Very birchy. They're very birchy. Hmm. So they're lined with gold, like kind of copper. Those are fairy lights. They are fairy lights. And That'll be really timer. cool. Put that in a vase. Have it kind of light up a little you bit. You know what? You could, we could put these in those glass jars. The recycling oh, glass jars. Heather. Get, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a vision. Good job. It's very birchy. Very birchy. <laughs> it's very birchy. It's very birchy vision. Very birchy vision. What's up? Check your vi vision casting score after that. Yeah. I don't know what a vision's casting score is. You I just, just I just like totally it. made that up right there. I was just trying to think of the most new age thing I could think of. That's what came And out. I went with vision casting score. Okay. We go back into gaming days or something. <laughs> <laughs> you are a mage as a vision caster. <laughs> back in the day, playing World of Warcraft. You remember that? Yep. Me and my wife. Because we lived in Iowa and there's nothing else to it do. Was, hey, it speaking of the glass jar that we should display ooh. the birch things in. We got one of those. So this is recycled glass. This is one of the wipe off ones. We've got them in blue, red, brown. Kind of a blue, like a burgundy. And a blue. And a blue. Yeah. We have blue. Did, did I say blue? We have a bunch of blue. That's why I said it so many times. We have a bunch of blue. And they're all different, various shapes. So we've got, like, this, this one's kind of a short, squatty one. We've got long, tall, skinnier ones. Yep. And a blue one. And a blue one. Clear ones, too. Clear ones. Oh. The clear are kind of blue. Are they? And the blue are a little clear. I'm so confused. If, if I say it one more time, I, I'm, I'm going to become blue. <laughs> I'm going to be sad. <laughs> Just instantly sad. Or Heather starts hitting me and the, the, the I'll become Scott. black and blue. With the wall scots. Yeah. <laughs> I get, I get stabbed by a wall sconce. <laughs> How did your husband die? Yeah, a wall sconce accident. He kept talking about blue stuff, and I stabbed him with it. Speaking Ooh. of blue. Speaking of blue. This is cool. Oh, that's cool. It's like an ottoman stool. Yeah. No assembly needed. Score. No, yeah, I like that too. That's cool. The top doesn't come off, does it? No, nope. no, yep. I thought it might have been like a storage thing yeah, too, like you know. Yeah, storage ottomans. That's, That's cool. cool. I like it. Yeah, somebody will buy that right off the bat. Yep. We sell little pieces of furniture every week in the we store. We sold a really nice stool. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the, the video where we opened a stool and it had kind of like a curved seat mm -hmm. on it and it had those kind of metal rivets all the way around it. Yeah. I built that last week and we sold it literally the day after I built it. Our friends that we rent the, uh, the space that we have our store in, they do tons of furniture. Yes. I don't Maybe know how many pieces spinner? he'd sell in a week, but or he's probably quite a, a bit. Wall. I think this is just a metal wall art. You think so? So we really try not to have a lot of furniture. We don't want to move in on their what they're they're selling. Well, our furniture is a lot different. Yeah, it's more decorative. We don't have bedroom sets. They, they have, have bedroom, bedroom sets, and they set up a home office and all kinds of stuff. Ooh, well that'll be perfect for fall, won't it? Got the changing leaves on there. Look at that. That is pretty. Everybody wanted that butterfly one. Um, yeah. We sold that one already. Did it? Yep. Is it gone? Yep. 
already Somebody, gone. Somebody's going to contact you right away about this. Yep. This one, if I sold it, it'd have to be shipped by itself in this box. Yeah. If I sold it. So, what, what is it? Oh. The butterfly one. Oh, what did the thing say? I was just, I'm always curious about that. I don't know why. The butterfly one, I think we sold for 50 It's on. Gonna... It's on this way. Oh, it's here? Yeah. Okay. It says. I don't want to. Do not want or need. Well, I love that stuff. Yeah. Love that stuff. Why wouldn't you want or need that? I can find a place for it. In your home. <laughs> Well done, Heather. I like that. Hey, this is another wall sconce because I see the picture. Yeah. A little stabby, stabby Ma wall sconce. Matching would be good. Yeah. <laughs> stabby, stabby wall sconce. What I said. That's how I die. I just, just realized that. I get stabbed by a wall sconce. Now, what will I say to Heather to get stabbed by the wall sconce? Oh, that could be a myriad of different things. I love Jesus too much to kill you. I don't know. Till death do us part is the vow we made. But I love so... you, so I don't want to kill you. Okay. Well, at least right now. We really do love each other. We do. This end up, hey, they put it in the box right. Ooh. Whatever it is, it's fairly large. Oh my. Looks like a light fixture. Ooh. Is this a lamp? This is the lamp shade. I'm feeling lamp. Very lampy. Very lampy. Or. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a mount it to the ceiling. Yeah. Kind of lampy. Okay. Well, that's Kinda the part lampy. you would see yep. that you have in your other hand over here. Okay. We have a hard time selling those. Hard to display. Yep. But um Some maybe. of them we actually took to auction. Yeah, that auction is this week. Yeah, so we'll see. So we'll see. We My dad uh, does a consignment <laughs> auction. Or he takes stuff to a consignment auction, and so we gave him three of those lamps like that. The ones that you have to wire into the ceiling. Yeah, and just curious of what happens. So, because if somebody goes nuts on them, because they're brand new, they look great, then that might be another avenue for us, which is a, a difference for us. We've bought lots of stuff at auction, but really haven't sold at auction in years. Hey, we have one of these. Or did that one sell? Did we sell the other one? I think we may have. Now we have another one. Did we really? I don't know. Wasn't it on the front window? No. Oh, well, I'm wrong. It's um by the pet supplies, like it, across from the planter stuff. It looks very folly. Bobbing for apples, I could see. I should put this on the front window, though. That's you great should. Okay, That's good. Over here. Yep. Okay. Looks like this is a rug. This is a this Runners. is a rubber mat. Oh, okay. Kind of same deal though. Cast iron doormat. So it looks like a cast iron. I don't want to really open it all the way. I might be able to. Scan it's not it. cast iron. It's just a mat. No, the style looks like cast iron. Yeah. Rungs. It'll look like that chain. Yeah. Yeah. You can kind of see it. Yeah. It's got that scrolly cast iron look. Is what it's called. Thirty bucks. Put a picture on it, throw it in the store, it'll sell. The rugs get real heavy to ship. They do. And we sell them fairly cheap and it's not worth by it. By the time somebody pays for shipping, it's not Yeah, and if they do free it's, shipping, it then turns we out to be our... not a good deal. Sometimes oh. for us, but most time for you guys That's too. Really nice rug. There you go. Kind of an outdoorsy one. We could open a whole rug store. We could. Come, buy a rug. Okay. Wall art, it looks like to me. I think you're right. Wind spinner wall art, something like that. It's looking like wall art. We had uh, one piece of wall art sale this, week this weekend. Ooh, look at that. It's two pieces. No, it's broken. Oh, is it? It is broken. But I tell you, that would have been beautiful. 
you know, somebody might still do something with that. If you guys want it, since we it's may broken, do it. I might be able to put that on the fire cell because then I'm not worried about it getting damaged and shipping. That's true. And then maybe somebody that's a crafter will have some idea with well, that. I, we'll only sell it for five hundred dollars because we won't sell it for the whole thousand. You know. <laughs> if you want this, seriously, yeah, we may put it on for a really dirt cheap price. Yeah, let us know if, if you, you want think that a on the fire cell. So. It even comes with the hardware to hang it. Yeah. You know, because it hangs off these hooks. So let us know. We'll probably put it right back in this box. Yep. It's okay. We could leave this other stuff in the pallet. Hmm. Let's see if it says what it is. This is clearly going to be it. Sold Looks like it's stored. something that you build. There's a barcode down there and some. Oh, oh I, yeah. I can give you this here. Seven foot lit olive tree. Oh my word. Let's see what it looks like. See if we can find a good picture. Yeah, you will have to build it. Okay. Try eBay, maybe. Or then just Google seven foot tall olive tree. Okay, hold on one sec. I'm gonna try eBay first. Oop. Who's the maker? Plow and Earth? Viviterra seven foot tall olive tree lit. Here are some pictures that match. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's it, Viviterra. Outdoor faux lighted olive tree. Nice, nice pink screen. Loving it. Beautiful. That's cool. You could have an olive tree growing in your house. We currently have a cherry blossom tree. We do. All right, so there's that. Then we got Big rug. Big rug. What are these? I think the large rugs are probably going to go for like 50 bucks. Yeah. We usually put a nice picture on them. Yeah. All right, let's go over here and I'll just open these two little boxes. These will probably go on the fire sale, I guess. It looks small enough for it. Yeah. Easier to ship. Depending on what it is. Nice nails, Heather. Look at the nails. Look at the nails, everybody. Well, I uh, went and got my nails done because my daughter went to homecoming and we all, all of us girls, even Faith. What do we have here? It's a fall leaf pumpkin. Uh, with a light. A, put a candle in. Oh, it has no, a light. No, it has it? it has an electric light in it. That is that'll sell right away. Yep. It's beautiful. So that's this one. Alright, I'm not gonna I just don't want to drop it. There we go. I'll set it right there. Let's see that. Dropping Last stuff is thing. Bad. And then we're gonna add everything up for you guys. So stay tuned for the total of how much we think we're gonna make on this six hundred dollar palette. Ooh, is this another one? A little different shape maybe. Just don't break the styrofoam, you're yeah, okay. Well, I hate styrofoam, it's not my friend. Heather hates styrofoam, everybody. I shouldn't hate styrofoam, but I do. Oh yeah, it's a matching set. We'll probably should sell it as a set. You I wanna think. sell it as a set? Yeah, there you go. Boom! Cause see? Pumpkin and gourd. Or two different kinds of pumpkins. Yeah. Whatever you wanna call them. Cool. Very folly. Tall pumpkin, short pumpkin. Made out of fall leaves. That's really fun. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and add everything up. So stay tuned. Here come the numbers. All right, the fun time for the numbers. All right, so I have this broken piece of wall art. Uh, it was originally supposed to be $150. Uh, we're going to sell it for $25 because it's broken. But if you want it, let us know in the comment section below. We will put it on the fire sale on Monday. Just let us know. Um, and then we have this three-piece canvas art set, the one that kind of had the sparklies on at the very beginning. We're going to sell, it was originally $180. We're going to sell it for $75. 
um, in the store only. Then we have this pillow set. Uh, we're going to sell it. It's got the big pillow plus the two seat cushions, $40. It was originally $120 and $70 was the two prices yeah. on the sets. So we'll sell it all together for $40. Then the flamingo, flamingo was actually $265 was what the normal price is. We're going to try to get $150 in the store. I think we'll get it. I think we will too. Where is she going to find a five-foot flamingo? Giant metal flamingo. All right. Then we have the semicircle mat, floor mat there. $30 bucks is what we're going to do that for. Then we have the single sunflower, um, basically yard art, 40 bucks for that. Then we have the... Um, the what is that? The brown bird lamp, $50. It was originally $240. So we'll do the white one at $50 and then the brown one at $50 as well. Then we have the birch branches. It was originally $50 bucks for that, and so we're going to sell it for $25. Then we have this pillow that has like a fall wreath on it. Kind of looks crocheted. This will be on the fire sale. Yep, it'll be on the fire sale for $30. Bucks. Then we have the leather pillow. We'll put that on the fire sale for 50 bucks. That was $126 originally. And remember, he kept saying $120. For the I told pillows. you these were $120 in the furniture store. They were. I was close. Yep. $116 is what they were. They were $116. Yep. So we're going to sell them at 30 bucks a piece. We have five total. See the savings? The savings. It's amazing. All right. Frog pillow, uh, 20 bucks on the fire sale is what we're going to sell that for. Then we have the um, King Green bedspread, the Chanel bedspread, 50 bucks. It was originally 120. Mm -hmm. Then the wall sconces were 160 bucks a piece, but they're kind of a unique one. So we're going to sell the pair on the fire sale since it's padded really well for $75 for both of them. Mm -hmm. Then the glass vase we always sell in the store for 30 bucks. The iron scroll work rug mat type thing is going to be 30 bucks in the store the ottoman pretty blue ottoman 60 bucks originally 130 then we have the metal oh yeah this is the wreath in here metal i believe sunflower wreath in there we're gonna sell that one for 50 if you do want that you need to contact me and we'll see what we can do if not it's gonna get sold in the store then we have the pumpkin lights light up set we're gonna sell it as a set 30 bucks for the set then we have the ceiling light we're actually going to list this on hookedonpicking.com because there's no way to really display it on the fire yeah. sale real well. So that'll be the one and only thing that you can buy on hookedonpicking.com. They're on so expensive, too. They were like, we looked it up, $720 is what yeah. you would buy this and for. And so we're going to check. Um, it, uh, we believe it does have all of its pieces. Oh, yeah. All the hardware is there. So we're going to put it on Hooked on Picking for $300. So it was originally $7. we are going to put it on for $300. So if you are looking for a nice pendant light like that, then um, there you yep. go. We'll post the pictures and everything. Yep. That they and have. all the dimensions and all the details for it. Then we have the cool bronze tub, 40 bucks for that. Then over, we have two more things left in the palette. We've got the olive lighted up olive tree, $70. We'll sell that in the store. And then the, this rug has actually got folk art um, all over it. Yeah. So a really cool, neat pattern, $50. So when you add all of those things together, we come up with $1,410. We paid six hundred for the pallet for a total profit, potential profit of eight hundred and ten dollars. So let us know in the comment section below what you thought about this pallet. If you think we're undercharging, overcharging, all the fun things, and if you want any of the items, especially that broken one, what well, let us know and we'll be putting it on the fire sale. So thanks so much for joining us and remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.